Happy Halloween. You can't really see my makeup because it's too light. And usually this office is very dark, so that's crazy. This is Julia Campbell, and I help nonprofits build communities and build movements using online tools and social media. And if you don't know, my favorite holiday is Halloween, of course. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys are doing something fun today, fun tonight, going out with the kids. My kids are dressing up. We're going to be a bunch of skeleton zombie family. Um, we lost power in our town. Every ta power is out all over the place here. So it's going to be pretty spooky. I don't know where we're actually going trick or treating because nobody has any lights. So I hope that you have power. I hope that you're safe. I hope that you're going to have fun tonight. I hope that you like Halloween. And I hope that you're really excited to learn today about social media calendars. That's what I wanted to talk about last Friday. And I'm so sorry that I thought I had canceled some scheduled promotions for last Friday's Facebook Live. Long story short, my son was sick and I had to stay home with him and I didn't think he would be great company for a Facebook Live training. I mean, he might be, he's really cute, but he wasn't feeling so well. He's feeling much better now. Thank you all for your comments and your kind words and for looking out for me and just telling me what a great mom I am because trust me, I, I need to hear that sometimes. So Halloween. It's Halloween today. We're talking about social media calendars. I'm going to give you two quick ways to create them for your nonprofit. I know you don't have a lot of time. I know you don't have a big staff. I know you don't have a huge budget. So let's get rid of this thing. Although I do love the little skulls on the frame. This is Be Live TV, by the way, which is amazing. Um, and I'm a big fan of it. So let's do that. Yeah, that works better. You can still see the pumpkin. It's still Halloween-y. Right. I look like a crazy person, but if you know me, you know, I am crazy. All right. So I want to ask you a question. I want to know from you if you do currently use some kind of social media calendar scheduling tool, some kind of content creation planning device or tool or software uh, at your nonprofit for your social media. I would love to know that. And if you do, what do you use? Because I'm constantly looking for new ones. The ones today that I'm going to review are super, super, super simple and completely free. And you could do it in your office right now. So I really find that the main benefits of having a social media calendar, especially for a nonprofit, is that you can manage all your online communications that go out in one week and you can kind of see your week in one fell swoop. And that's how I like to do it. You might prefer to see a month or maybe just a couple of days, but I really prefer uh, to see a week so that I can kind of say, okay, this is going to be crazy or, oh, we have a gala on Thursday or, you know, whatever it is that need, or it's Halloween. We need to prepare a Halloween post, whatever it need, whatever it is that needs to happen. Okay. Um, so you also want a calendar to avoid that middle of the day dread when you say, oh my God, I have never posted on social media. I didn't post on Facebook today. I didn't post on Twitter. I didn't post on Instagram. Um, you want it, you want it to avoid that and also to be more consistent. And I think that's a problem that small nonprofits run into, especially is the lack of consistency or the perception of the lack of consistency in posting and in voice. And if you plan it out ahead of time, you'll find that you're able to be less stressed out, less anxious, and you'll also be a little bit more consistent. So really simple, really quick video today, uh, creating a calendar by topic theme. That's the first one that I want to talk about. This is probably the most simple one of all. You can literally take a pen and a paper, piece of paper. You can open up your notes app on your phone. Um, you can get a fantastically amazing notebook, whatever you want to do. Excuse me, I just need some water from my goblet here. You can just, like I said, take out a pencil and paper and do it very quickly. This just involves batching and theming. So if you only manage one social media account, maybe two, if you manage more than two and you're posting to more than two social media accounts regularly for your nonprofit, then I wouldn't 
necessarily recommend doing the theming because then everything will kind of look the same and it won't make sense. But these are for the small nonprofits, one Facebook page, you're trying to post to it four to five times a week, one, maybe a Twitter account. That might be it. Okay. Maybe nothing more than that. So theming is pretty easy. I mean, it's so easy that I don't know why more nonprofits don't do it. And it's sort of like training wheels. It's how you get comfortable posting consistently until you can really create your own stuff to post and until you get really comfortable creating things kind of on the fly. So for example, if you're posting on Monday, every single Monday could be some kind of tip, some kind of education, educational, informative tip. And the example that I gave on my blog was, you know, nutrition Monday, if you're a food bank or something, recipe Monday, um, just having a theme for every single Monday. Another hashtag that's very popular on social media on Mondays is Manic Monday, showing what life is like in your office or what you have going on for the week, how busy you are. That's popular on Mondays. Tuesday, um, Charity Tuesday is a hashtag, hashtag Charity Tuesday. Oh, and I meant to put my agenda up. It's hard to manage my agenda, manage my wig, manage my microphone manage my notes, manage my talking. So Charity Tuesday is just giving a shout out maybe to a partner or um, someone in the community, a community organization that you like. You could do that every Tuesday. These are just examples and suggestions. They might not work for you. Just an example of how you can theme things. Wednesday, Wednesday Wisdom, that's a really popular hashtag and theme on social media. Post an inspiring quote that kind of makes sense for your mission that makes sense for your audience. TBT, Throwback Thursday. This is a hugely popular one. I always forget about this one. I don't know. Thursdays tend to be kind of insane for me. So I always forget. And then on Friday, I think, oh, I had a great Throwback Thursday to post. This is just um, something that went on in your business or your organization or even your community a, a long time ago, Throwback Thursday. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know what it is, look it up on the internet. It's very popular. You don't have to jump on this bandwagon if you don't want to. I mean, it's it's pretty popular. And Friday, of course, would be something about TGIF or something about we're so happy it's Friday or what are you looking forward to this weekend? Just a fun, a much more fun and educate, fun and entertaining post than maybe the rest of the week. So there you go. You have no excuse not to be posting to Facebook every single day. Of course, you have to remember the Facebook rules and the social media rules. Think about your audience. Think about what they want. Think about what they like and give them more of that. It's really not all about what you want to post and what you want to share with them. It's what they want to hear from you. And that's what's going to work. So we have to kind of turn it around. So most of the training today, let's see. We're going to talk about the social media calendar template and just really review it really, really quickly. And I will hide that. This is where you can create a calendar by platform. And that means putting every single platform into a spreadsheet. So this might be way more than you need, or it might not be enough for you. But what I found was that I was looking at all of these kind of done for you social media calendars. There's a great one by HubSpot. There's a great one by Sprout Social. Hootsuite even has a template. And they were just too complicated. And they had a bunch of different sheets and they were color coded and they probably assumed that you had a department of about five people, which I'm assuming that you don't. You're probably a very small nonprofit with a department of one or two people. So I think an Excel spreadsheet is probably the simplest way to do it. And I will post the link in my blog. If you go to this blog, you can get a copy of this spreadsheet and then you can just easily take out rows, take out columns. So the first thing that I want to encourage you to do, start simple, okay? Make sure you're uploading this somewhere where you can access it, where someone else can access it if they need to. Um, but start simple. Don't worry about putting absolutely every single thing in the kitchen sink on there. Just you, you'll get more comfortable using it as you go along. Number two, label your columns. So you'll see here, you know, the channel. I put the channel there. Then I put Monday, Tuesday, you know, Wednesday, 
big fundraising event, just an example, um, big fundraising event on Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday and Sunday if you want to post as necessary. So you might want to start your week on a different day. It doesn't matter. I like to start my Personally, I like to start my week on a Monday, but you are welcome to change this up, you know, as you need to. Then the next step, really simple, configure the rows. And this is where your particular nonprofit and your particular organization comes in. I mean, if you're not doing a morning and an afternoon post or you're not doing three tweets or LinkedIn, you don't have a LinkedIn profile, I just put in um, every kind of thing that I could think of that you might be posting on. Also your email newsletters on there, your blog. So you just want to look at your week and you really want to say, oh, wow, we've got a lot going on. Or, hey, I know we're going to put a blog post up on Wednesday. We can repurpose that on all of these channels. We can tweet it out. We can put a photo on Instagram. We can put up a LinkedIn post. So it's just a way for you to look at what kind of content is being created and what content is going out and then also how you can quickly repurpose it. So then you're just going to start adding your content to this. So look at your calendar, make sure you add any events, meetings, milestones, what did I write? Anniversaries, any volunteer trainings, orientations, graduations, networking meetings, um, outreach meetings, just make sure that you have everything noted so that nothing falls through the cracks. And so you make sure that you are letting your community know about everything that is relevant to them. Another very important point that I want to make is to always refer back to your strategic strategic online communications plan. Is this content calendar, this editorial calendar, this social media calendar, whatever you want to call it, is it going to help me accomplish my goals that I set out in my strategic online communications plan? right? Because I, I hope you have a strategic online communications plan. So if you don't, I have a blog post about how to create one. But definitely, you want to be sure that every post is kind of getting you towards your goal. And yes, some posts should just be designed for engagement, should just be entertaining or silly, or, you know, maybe very little humor. There's nothing that says you can't go off topic. Um, you don't have to stay totally in your nonprofit niche on Facebook. I mean, you can absolutely go off topic. You want to make sure you're staying on brand and that you're following your little style guide or your, your, you know, your simple brand document, whatever that is. But I think that when nonprofits go off brand a little bit, it shows that they're human. And I gave an example in my email newsletter a few weeks ago about the NPR story of the digital media manager and he posted about his daughter Ramona, but he posted accidentally on the NPR Facebook page and everyone absolutely loved it. They loved it. Even though it was an accidental post, he was probably horrified and shocked and, um, you know, NPR doesn't post things like that. It was nothing bad. It was something about how his one, his one-year-old daughter loves cats. Everyone completely lost their minds and thought it was the best thing that ever happened and wanna see more of that because it shows that there's a human behind the posting and the brand and the logo. That's so, so, so important. Show that you're a human. Don't just look internally for content. Don't just think, oh my God, look at all these cells. Look at all these empty Excel cells. I have to create content for every single one of these. No, you can retweet and repost and share. You can share things that you have not created, but you know your audience will find valuable or entertaining or helpful, right? So you can do that. So be flexible is my number seven. Don't be married to the calendar. Things happen. Emergencies happen. Horrific events happen in the world. You have to be flexible. I wouldn't schedule things way too far in advance because like I just saw that happen last Friday, I had scheduled tweets and LinkedIn posts and I scheduled all this promotion for my Facebook live. And then the morning of, I realized I can't do it. So that's something important to remember also. Scheduling is great, but you got to be flexible. And sometimes things don't always go with the plan, right? Or with the flow. So the last two things I'll leave you with, I'm going to put this link as a clickable link. Um, let me see. 
I'm going to put this link as a clickable link in your, um, I was going to say your bio in the comments section. And I really hope that you'll check it out and just adapt it and use it and let me know. The other thing I have for you is that I'm hosting a free nonprofit masterclass. Sorry, my makeup is itchy. A free nonprofit masterclass on December 8th, all about how to map out your promotions calendar for 2018. I will post a link to that. Information's on my website. Totally free. I'm not going to sell a course. It's not one of those webinars where... You sell a course at the end. I will, however, make sure it's available um, on demand for you. And I will be selling the replay, so make sure you join me live. And like I said, I'll put the link in the comments. Thank you so much. I really wanna use another, I really like the dancing skeletons. I think they're awesome. But this is these are some of the other ones. I love Be Live TV. This is BeLive.TV. Um, a service that I use for Facebook Live and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So on that note, have a wonderful Halloween. I love ending sort of at the 15 minute mark, maybe a little bit more. Let me know your questions, your concerns, what you want to hear about on a Facebook Live. I will also be live on Friday at noon talking about how to use Facebook's free fundraising tools on Giving Tuesday. All right. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween.